farm in Mississippi County, a little town called Joyner, Arkansas. I'm a third generation farmer and I farm with my wife Sherry and my son Ren. We've got the, uh, we've got the corn and the rice out. Uh, both of them were, were pretty good yields. Uh, we got our cotton picked. We got uh, actually going to start ginning on it today. Had uh, pretty good cotton yields. Our prices were up quite a bit from what they've been being. Everything uh, has turned out really well. We're down to, like I said, 250 acres of soybeans. We're down to our, some of our dry land fields that aren't turned out quite as well as, as we had hoped, but still pretty well. We had, 4th of July, we had probably the prettiest crop we've ever had. Uh, it, the rains were coming pretty regular. Uh, we had clean fields, and then the rain stopped and turned off hot and dry, and, and even our irrigated fields, we couldn't keep up. They suffered a little bit, but Everything's been going pretty good this year. We've had a pretty smooth harvest. Uh, the only problem we've had is parts. When we do have a breakdown, we're having to drive miles to get parts. Uh, we had a breakdown yesterday afternoon, just a uh, burst of hydraulic hose. And nobody, normally that's just a quick fix, run to our local parts store, but nobody's got the parts to fix the hydraulic hoses. So we had to splice it just to get by. Uh, from what I understand, all of our parts that come from overseas are sitting in container ships out in the out in the Gulf or out in California and they can't get anybody to unload these ships. So I don't know, it says a truck driver shortage, a crane operator shortage, uh, and so we can't get, uh, we can't get parts. Uh, the local John Deere dealership here can tell us where the closest one is. I've actually driven to Stuttgart to get parts. I've driven to Elaine to get parts, been to Wiener a couple times to get parts. And we're talking two and three hour drives to get uh, just parts that, that normally our local dealership has. Still, overall, our yields are going to be up from normal and uh, prices up. Everything looks good. The, the bad thing about it is we're already driven next year because we know input costs are going to be fertilized is out of the roof. We, we rode up a field this morning that normally we would rotate to rice, but because fertilized costs, we're going to put it back in beans next year.